come all. This video is for all my prayer warriors, subscribers. You are welcome to, especially if you are on the Lord's side. Okay, especially if you are on the Lord's side. This is uh, our everybody can participate. All you have to do is have a heart for prayer. And uh, they that are not with the Lord is against him. But if you are for the Lord, you are with him. So it does not matter that you are not a prayer intercessor. I want to reiterate that. Okay. Uh, what matters is you have a heart for God and the purpose, a driven purpose after what we are after. Okay. And that is praying for the fivefold ministry. Okay. I wanted to do this quick video before tonight. I want you guys to know that I will be going live, live again. I'm sorry for the short notice. Um, but this is rules of engagement, attention, subscribers, and prayer warriors okay this is the prayer orgasm prayer orgasm prayer orgasm okay and that means huh, this is something i came up with orgasm okay arc a r c asm a s m mean all souls matter including the fivefold ministry all right um this is a release against what the enemy is releasing the uh, is releasing out in uh, the atmosphere against our fivefold ministry uh, for the a prayer for the believers of Christ, of course, orgasm, a flow of prayer in the atmosphere in the earth to defeat our enemies, demons, adversary at the end of the day. Okay. Um, I'm titling this uh, Rules of Engagement. Iron sharpens iron. To iron. Iron sharpens iron. This is to all my um, pastors, ministers, prophet, prophet, test, apostles. Um, yeah. So we're going to join together at 9 o'clock Central Time. My time, that would be 10 o'clock. Um, uh, for New York time, East Coast, West Coast, y'all are two hours behind us. So I don't know. It may be a little swift for one or the other. I don't know if you just get in where you fit in. All right. So get your piece of paper. All right. And I want you to write some things down because there's some rules. And regulations to this. So this is rules of engagement. You cannot go into a plan and try to uh, go and attack something and uh, without being strategic. Okay. So number one, you want to build an altar. Remember, I read in uh, Genesis where after the flood you notice that Noah built an ark. I mentioned that in my past videos, and I told you there are going to be some things to come that's going to be instructional, directional, teach, uh, to be taught. Uh, you, it's much needed in this hour, okay? But Noah built an altar, and it was sweet savor unto the Lord, okay? The Lord is definitely looking for these increased prayers. He has put it up on my heart. It's been also confirmed strongly that we need to stand in the gap. People need to stand in the gap for the fivefold ministries because especially the prophets, apostles, um, what we're getting ready to put out in the atmosphere of the enemy is not going to like. All right. So we need to be uh, ready, 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 ready and we need to fight okay there is power in numbers where two or three are gathered in his name there he is in the midst so um let's get the lord in the midst we're gonna um pray for the glory of god to come up on us and we're going to fight the good fight of faith with the word of god all right so build a prayer altar in your home uh whatever that may be your prayer 
place uh, you could put your telephone or your device in a closet or wherever your little prayer altar is I'm a pacer when I pray um, when you pray uh, a pacer I, I walk back and forth uh, sometimes when I'm uh, receiving a message or getting a message from the Lord like a download I start talking it out and I start pacing I don't know why that is, but I see that I ain't the only one that do that, but um, I'm a pacer. Uh, so you might be one to sit. You might be one to rock. Some of us rock. Sometimes when I'm praying and I'm sitting down, I rock to and fro, uh, backwards and forward. Or you may be a sidewinder. You may do this. That is that is fine. Okay. Uh, but first, number one, build an altar in your home. Okay. Get your pillows. Uh, make sure you got a pillow for your knees. Um, get, don't get no candles. The Catholic faith do that. Don't get no candles. Nothing against my Catholic people, but uh-uh. We don't do that. Don't get no little prayer gods. No little statues. No li None of that. Okay? All right? We don't want none of that. Okay. Okay. Uh, you want to put your war face on. Get your gear. You want to put your war face on. Your poker face. Your rock face. With the raised eyebrow. Whatever you got to do. You want to know that you have authority in the earth realm. That the Lord has given you. Amen. Amen. Okay. So. Put on that face means that you mean business, not business, business. All right. Uh, I want to pump you guys up today. All right. Uh, Acts 2 17 says in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will dream dreams and on my handmaidens and on my maid servants and on your young men and old men and all that. I'm paraphrasing. The Lord's spirit is being poured out. And if his spirit is being poured out on you, you feel this drawing to come closer to the Lord. You feel a drawing to pray more. You feel a drawing to um, read your Bible. Um, all the things of the Lord. Worship, whatever it is that the Lord... Basically, we are to be at his feet. Okay? And praying without ceasing. All right? Um, let's see, get your, the gear, you want to get your holy water, you want to get your anointing oil, if you have it, uh, if you don't have any anointing oil, hold it, uh, olive oil up to the Lord and say, Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I commit this oil to you, that you would anoint this oil with the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Anoint this oil, Lord, in faith and belief it will be done in the name of Jesus, okay? Um, you want to get water for your throat? We're going to be, I don't like to put time on anything, but um, for now I'm working, but it won't be for long. Um, I have other things to do. Time is just not long enough these days. Get your prayer shawls or your tallit. Um put that on or whatever um, and whatever you use you want to have that as well also have your hands and your feet ready Nikki what you talking about I'm talking about Psalms 144 that number that we keep seeing like crazy Psalms 144 one says teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight when we are praying you guys we are in rules of engagement in this prayer orgasm, okay? Rules of engagement. When we're praying, you want to use your fists, you want to use your hands, you want to use your feet. You can stomp if, if you have to because when you're leveling up, remember that some song the kids were singing for a while? Who sung that? Uh, I see her face. Um, I can't think of her name, but anyway, she says, level up, level up, level, Sierra, thank you, <laughs> level up, level up, we're going to level up, as you level up in the spirit, okay, you may feel some heat, 
you that's when the power starts and the glory comes and the and the power starts generating and you're you're praying and you're praying. Use your hands. Use your hands to fight and your fingers to war. You're doing things in the spirit. You may even get the notion to say, in the name, mighty name of Jesus, I I uh cancel every contract in the second heaven. It's that demonic realm. I cancel. I decree and declare it null and void and just start ripping it up. Because if you do it in the natural, you have done it in the spiritual. He says, you're with your feet. I have given you power to tread up over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. You can stomp. You stomp. You stomp. I trample down every evil of our adversaries. Uh. Every evil of our adversaries. I trample. I Whatever. That the Holy Spirit lay up on your, uh, lay up on you. Use your feet and your hands. You are waging war prophetically. If you start getting a tahila, a tahila is that random song that comes out while you, while you can pray. You you may feel like a song. Uh, believe me, according to Psalms uh, 149, let's turn there real quick. Psalms 149, it will tell you what happens when a, song's, a song come out. It says in Psalms 149, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. It says... Let me skip down. Okay. It says, verse five, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. Hello, somebody. What is a two edged sword? The word of God. Okay. And then it says seven to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. So that tells you right there that as you praying, and you praising and you worshiping and you, a tahila come out. It may be just like a hymn. I don't know. Whatever that the Holy Spirit gives you, do it. Because what you're releasing in that time, even when you're praising and worshiping, you are releasing. When you're letting out songs, you are releasing out hammers and all that. And you name it in the spiritual. Okay. And it tells you what it's doing. It says to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Okay. To execute upon them judgment written. This honor have all the saints. Praise ye the Lord. Woo. That was a revelation that the Lord gave me in 2019. Okay. All right. So uh, that was Psalms 144. I read earlier about teach my hands to war, my fingers to fight. Psalms 91, 13 uh, talks about treading up on the lion and adder and trample the dragon under your feet. You stomp, do whatever, whatever the Holy Spirit gives you to come out of your mouth, let it come out. Okay. Uh, Luke 10, 19, power to take authority and tread up over serpents and scorpions. Okay. Do the stomping in the natural. So it can be done in the spiritual, okay? Um, those of you who do not have experience in intercessory, I, I, I count myself along with the subscribers, okay? Um, but those of you who know what you know and you know how to flow and go, you know, then flow and go. But what I want, I'm going to be with the intercessors, okay? But what I want for all the subscribers to do is to pray whatever the Holy Spirit lead on your heart. And you cover all of us intercessing, okay? You cover all the subscribers. You want to participate. You are very welcome. Cover all the more experienced prayer warriors, intercessors that are standing in the gap. And close the gap. That's what you want to do. We, as we stand in the gap, you want to close the gap. And as we are praying during the whole time, never say amen. Because you don't want to cut off that prayer while we are praying. Okay? Don't cut it off. All right? Um, uh, number three. 
Go potty. Get your water. Silence your phones. Number four, worship. Thank the Lord before we start prayer. I'm going to have on a worship song to clear the atmosphere and uh, against the powers of darkness. And we also going to be speaking in tongues for those of you who have a prayer language. Those of you who don't, when you are around a company, when we are gathered together, and the Lord knows that we are intercessing and we are being obedient and we have a heart to do his will. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit shows up and shows out. And all you have to do with is ask. He said, whatever you ask in his name, he will give it to you. Ask the Lord for the gift of tongues. And if when you continually do it, all you have to do is have a little faith. He will give you the gift of tongues. It may come out as ba 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 ba. That's it. Da 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 da. However, and then all of a sudden, raba sata raba sheket kekur raba siket elamaha. You don't know how it's gonna come out, but it'll come out. Okay. Uh, speaking tongues. And for those of you just say, Nikki, I'm new to this, and. I don't know anything but the our father prayer for my babes in Christ. Let me show you what you can do. Because that's how I started out. Even when I initially started doing videos, I wouldn't even pray before the videos because I, I was afraid to. I didn't know how to pray. Okay. So this is what you do. You can pray along with me. When I pray, say what I say. Or you don't have to be some long drawn out eloquent, eloquent uh, prayer. You can say whatever the Lord put on your heart. Whatever the Lord put on your heart to cover us as we pray. Or it just be can be something that the Lord put on your heart to be praying for at that time. I believe that tonight. Y'all we 17 minutes in. I just happened to look down at the time. We 17 minutes in. Um. I believe that tonight we finna tear up some stuff, okay? Because when the body of Christ join together for a specific purpose and be strategic, we finna shake up some stuff, all right? Okay, so uh, you can say glory. You can, you can speak in tongues. Those of you who just want to speak in tongues the whole time, and not utter anything in your English language or whatever language you speak. Okay? You can pray in tongues. Okay? Pray in the spirit. All right? Um, all other subscribers, um, like I said, do what you feel. We are prayer point uh, for tonight. We're praying for the fivefold. Our prayer point, touch not mine anointed, touch not mine anointed. And uh, what the Lord is, is putting on my heart very strong is for us, we're going to be led by the spirit because those that are led by the spirit are the sons of God. Okay. Um, but it's like a focus on the head. And when I saw that it's like I see thorns okay so touch not my anointing I'm we're gonna focus on the head of the matter because we're praying for the head of the church Woo, that's good all right we're gonna focus on the head of the matter because we focusing on we're praying for the head of the church but we're gonna cover from that point and we're gonna start at the head okay because the enemy is attacking things of the head. Bad dreams and bad uh, visions, putting people in fear, lying signs and wonders, uh, bringing up um, uh, uh, evil voices, uh, making people be in doubt, unbelief, um, weak, tired, 
uh, fiery darts and arrows, those thorns, those same thorns that was um, put in Christ's head before he went to heaven is the same principle what the enemy is trying to do with the fiery darts and the wicked arrows, okay? Uh, holding the mind at captivity, putting people in fear to say, you know, and they're not speaking what thus said the Lord, uh, fear to, to not speak what the word is saying, um, because there may be a Jezebel in spirit or whatever is going on in the church, but I'm sure the Holy Spirit is going to move tonight and it's going to come out of our mouths what is going on and we're going to fight against it, all right? I don't want to hold you guys long. Uh, be ready and prepared. Uh, those of you, oh my ankle, those of you who don't get a chance to, um, uh, join in. I'm doing this video to let you know ahead of time. Um, you will catch us next week. I, tonight, I was going to wait way until next week, but after the things that I've been seeing, what's going on? No, no, uh-uh, no. I'm not letting this time go by. Things are ramping up in the spirit. There's so much going on in this world. Um, and also... What else did I want to say? Um, yeah, so it's going to start at 9, 9 o'clock Central Time. Uh, oh, I wanted it to be on yesterday, Wednesday. It didn't work out like I wanted to, but um, just catch us next Wednesday. I will be doing this at 7 o'clock next Wednesday, all right? Um, so, and some of you could pray you know, for the videos and the uploads and different ministries um, that the fivefold ministry holds, um, okay, from attacks and things of that nature. All right, I love you guys. See you at nine, your time.